Janome. Hello, everyone, and thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Michael Smith. I'm the National Consumer Education Manager of Genome Canada, and welcome to the Genome Sewing and Learning Center. I am very happy to be with you today to show with you these are only a small sampling of some of the fabulous accessories you can get for your Genome long arm quilting machine. Uh, most of these accessories will work with all of our long arm quilting machines. So that includes the Quiltmaker Pro 18. Versa, the Quiltmaker Pro 16, Quiltmaker Pro 18, and Quiltmaker Pro 20. Now there's a lot of fun things that you can do with your long arm quilting machines. It doesn't always have to be traditional big bed quilts. Oh, what about using some of our fabulous uh, extra hopping feet, for example, like the couching feet or my favorite feet. And we can do, this is my little travel pillow for whenever I start traveling again, uh, that I have couched yarn onto. So you can embellish your fabric. Again, it's always not just to be quilting quilts. Uh, or how about out, again, using that couching foot for a little, uh, you know, tote bag. Uh, so you can embellish your fabric, quilt your fabric, and then maybe cut it up. So these tote bags, for example, so many people are uh, making totes on their domestic sewing machines. So how about you quilt your fabric first, and then you cut it up and make your tote bags. Uh, we can either do ruler quilting or again our Quiltmaker Pro 16, Quiltmaker Pro 18, and Quiltmaker Pro 20 will use the fabulous Pro Stitcher Premium computer software. So this is all computer guided quilting and then again you can cut it up all this cross hatching could be done with rulers because that's some other accessories we could use with our long arm quilting machine or again we can get the pro stitcher to do all of that cross hatching for us to quilt our fabric and then cut it up and make whatever we wish out of it uh, or again a lot of people say oh i don't want big bed quilts how about a whole set of placemats uh, we could do this either free motion quilting ruler quilting maybe a paper pantograph or again pro stitcher did all the heavy lifting for us and of course i bound it very quickly and easily with our Janome quilt binder set for the sewing machine. So how quick and easy is that? Or instead of big bed quilts, how about oh, a table runner, or this could be a bed runner at the foot of the bed to keep your feet nice and warm. Again, quilt in the middle, whatever uh, technique you would like to do, add some borders and some binding and you're done. So there's a lot of very quick and easy versatile projects you can make with your Janome Quilt Maker Long Arms. Now the 11 foot leaders come with your standard frame and the pro frame for your long arm quilting machine, but these are also optional as an additional accessory if you would like a second set of leaders, if you would like to customize your table to a four foot or an eight foot length and need to cut your leaders and then down the road you then attach that other four foot section. Again, we've got the 11 foot leader set for the pickup roller and the back roller and the quilt top roller all available as an optional accessory from your Janome dealer. Now ruler quilting is just one of the ways that you can finish all your quilting projects whatever they are so each of the Janome long arms has its own ruler base. This is something that is distinct to each machine. So for your Quiltmaker Pro 18 Versa, again, that's the machine that recesses down into the table. So the Versa does not need a ruler base because it's already recessed into a table. So you have lots of support there for ruler quilting. Your Quiltmaker Pro 16, however, yes, there is a ruler base specific for that machine. So this is what the box looks like. And then your ruler base here will attach to the machine. And this is why they're uh, specific to each machine, not only the width of the ruler base here as it fits around the arm of the machine, but also this is how they, they connect to the machine itself. So you want to make sure for your Quiltmaker Pro 16 that you get the dedicated Quiltmaker Pro 16 ruler base. And then for your Quiltmaker Pro 18, oh yes, there is a dedicated ruler base for your Quiltmaker Pro 18 to again allow us to safely use those rulers, whichever one that they are, that we can safely quilt with them. There is also a ruler base specific for the Quiltmaker Pro 20. And with those ruler bases, we're going to make sure to use the special easy ruler foot 
that has the big quarter inch uh, high profile here so we can butt up our ruler safely. So do all of our ruler quilting on any of our Janome long arm machines. Now this easy ruler foot will also work with the Quiltmaker Pro 18 Versa. So you can use that same foot on all Janome long arm machines. Now when we talk about ruler quilting, look at all the rulers that are available from the Janome So Comfortable line. There are every kind of shape imaginable. Here are some ovals, then I've got this whole half circle arc template set. I've got circle template set. Or how about these clamshells? or these wavy lines. Oh, it's endless of all the rulers available. Again, from the Janome So Comfortable line, this is the Ditch Quilting, one of my favorite rulers. And you can see they're all that thick, quarter of an inch thick, so we can safely use them with our easy ruler foot on all of our Janome long arm machines uh, for the Quiltmaker Pro 16, Quiltmaker Pro 18, and Quiltmaker Pro 20. We're going to need the special ruler base for each of those machines. Quiltmaker Pro 18 Versa does not need a ruler base since it's already recessed into the machine, but all of these uh, rulers from the So Comfortable line can be used on your Janome long arm quilting machines. Some of the other accessories available for your standard frame and pro frame, so those are the stand-up uh, traditional long-arm quilting frames, is the hand wheel kit. Already on each of those frames, a hand wheel is included. Typically this goes up on the, the pickup bar that will uh, collect your big quilt as you're finished quilting. Uh, but we can get a secondary uh, hand wheel kit if you want to put this on your quilt backing bar or your quilt uh, top bar just to make it a little bit easier to wind that fabric up and around. So this hand wheel kit is available for other of those leaders. Or then we've got uh, things like extra bobbin cases. Uh, it's always great to have another on hand in case you happen to drop your bobbin case uh, and it maybe goes uh, out of whack. Or I always like having extra bobbin cases for different weights of thread. So once I get my bobbin case set for my Madeira Aero quilt thread, for example, that's polyester thread, uh, then I like to leave it set. And then if I go to use uh, some cotton quilting thread, then I like having a separate bobbin case so I can adjust the tension for that cotton thread and leave it set. If we want to use some M-class pre-wounds, then again I would uh, have a separate bobbin case for those and I would set the tension and then that way once I know it's all set, I never have to adjust it again. So it's always great to have extra bobbin cases available and the nice thing is each of these bobbin cases, they all fit all of the Janome long arm machines. So you don't have to worry about getting the right bobbin case for the right machine machine, it will work for all of them. Uh, these channel locks, for example, are another uh, accessory that we have available for your stand-up long arm quilting machines. Uh, then these will go around your carriage and be able to lock it into position either horizontally or vertically. So then you can get a nice straight line if you want to do all that matchstick quilting or when you're basting your quilt. Uh, quilt top into your sandwich, then again you these channel locks go around the wheels of your carriage and around the wheels of the machine to give you that perfectly straight line, either vertical or horizontal. So those are great accessories available as well. And we also have the horizontal spool pin. So each of our Janome long arms have the telescoping thread stand attached to the machine, but we also have uh, the little screw holes in the top of the machines or at the side of the machine that this little horizontal sc uh, spool pin will screw into. So this way we can use a smaller spool of thread, something like oh, our Janome uh, polyester embroidery thread or our Madeira poly neon embroidery thread. I use my embroidery threads a lot on the long arm so we can use those smaller spools of thread as well using this horizontal spool pin. 
The Quiltmaker Pro Thread Tension Journal is a great accessory to get regardless of what Janome long-arm quilting machine that you have. Uh, there's a little strip of Velcro on the back of it, sticky Velcro, so you can attach this to the side of your machine, to the frame, uh, regardless of where. But it's a really great to have. There's some suggestions of what needle size you will use uh, for what kind of thread you would use in your machine. But as well, it's a perfect journal where you write down what tension if your machine has the digital tension display where you would write that number down uh, that you can record which batting you're using, which fabric you're using, what needle you're using. All of that information can be recorded here. So next week, next month, two years down the road, if you decide, oh, I'm going to use the, the rest of that Madeira Aero quilt thread, for example, on that batik fabric or that regular cotton uh, quilting fabric with that 80-20 batting, you know, all that information you have got recorded here. So you can go back to refer to it to then remember what your machine settings you used, what needle you used, so there's less guesswork, so you spend more time quilting and less time adjusting your machine. Now, just like our Janome domestic sewing machines that we have a lot of presser feet and attachments to help you get the most of your machines, to help you do a lot of fun, fanciful effects, we have extra hopping feet available for all of your Janome long arm machines. So these optional hopping feet are available for the Janome Quiltmaker Pro 18 Versa, Janome Quiltmaker Pro 16, Janome Quiltmaker Pro 18, and Janome Quiltmaker Pro 20. So the Echo Feet, for example, I demonstrated on Janome HQ's Magical Machine Mystery Tour uh, when I demonstrated all of the Janome long arm machines. And again, Kelly McKenzie has done some videos on the Janome America YouTube channel. So you can go and watch those videos. And as well, I've written about all of these feet on the Janome Life blog. So that's also a great resource to find out about all things Janome and specifically the Janome long arm quilting machine options and all the optional accessories. So these uh, Echo feet uh, currently are all clear plastic feet. These were the original Echo feet that they have different sizes of discs to allow you to stitch, again, uh, echoing lines. If you picture um, dropping a pebble in the water in those rippling lines, uh, then this is what the Echo feet allows you to do. Uh, the original Echo feet, again, had these colored discs, but now they all are clear but these are the same feed it's just these were colored and these are now clear <laughs> so these will work again with all your long arm quilting machines then we have the original glide foot a lot of people refer to this as the cereal bowl it is a clear foot round foot was great uh, to use. A lot of people like to use this, especially with their Pro Stitcher uh, computer, that as the machine moves uh, the needle, you know, back and forth across the, the quilt, by having this rounded uh, hopping foot there, then you don't have to worry about catching the edge of the quilt. This is also a great foot to use when you're stitching around applique, because again, uh, it's all rounded, so you don't have to worry about butting into that applique. So this was the original glide foot, and then they came out with, oh yes, an even bigger glide foot. So all of these are available from your Janome dealer, perhaps again, if the uh, dealer still has the original glide foot or then uh, they may have the glide two foot, which is uh, slightly more shallow, but it's a bigger bowl. So it does that same, it glides across the edge of the quilt. You don't have to worry about it catching on anything. And with it clear, it offers great visibility. Now, what I love about Janome, they think about everything. So even there's an extra little screw uh, in case you happen to lose the screw that's in the machine already as you uh, take off your hopping foot and if you happen to lose that little screw they even include an extra so they always think of everything so those are available and then some other clear feet are these square feet there is one that's half of an inch and there's one a quarter of an inch so these are great you know you can do binding on your long arm quilting machine as well and in fact i demoed these feet on the Janome HQ Magical Machine Mystery Tour, the Quiltmaker Pro 16 
episode, you can go back to review that and see the square feet in action when I actually bind the quilt on the frame. So all those specialty presser feet or hopping feet in this case uh, allow you to do other fun techniques. Now my favorite optional hopping feet are these uh, couching feet and there are three and they have different size discs in the middle that allow you to put some yarn of various thicknesses through the hole of the foot and that keeps the yarn directly under the needle. So we can do couching on our long arm or on our domestic sewing machine with a zigzag stitch, but now we can do couching on our long arm quilting machine uh, with a straight stitch by using these couching feet. And again, I've demonstrated them on, I think, all the episodes of Janome's Magical Machine Mystery Tour when I talked about all the long arm quilting machines because I love the couching so much. Again, we can use a variety of yarns uh, with each of those couching feet. It's very fun and gives you, ooh, all that beautiful texture. So again, we can add the couching to our quilts, but as well, a lot of these fun projects like this little pillow, there's so much that you can do to embellish your fabric with your optional hopping feet available for all of your Janome long arm quilting machines. As I mentioned, the Quilt Maker Pro 20 has its own dedicated ruler base. So again, make sure that you order the correct one from your Janome dealer. So by having that ruler base, you can see I have it already attached to my Quilt Maker Pro 20 here, and you can see already I can feel where the ruler base is. So I get this beautiful 12 inches of space. So any size ruler I want to use, again, these are the special quarter of an inch thick rulers from the Janome Sew Comfortable line. So any ruler I want to use, I have my easy ruler foot set up here on my machine. So any ruler I want to use uh, with my easy ruler foot and the ruler base that I can now safely use the rulers on any of our stand-up Janome long arm quilting machines, but make sure that you have the correct ruler base for your correct machine. Now, as mentioned, we want our easy ruler foot on our, this will fit on any of our Janome long arm quilting machines. So I've got that easy ruler foot already on my Quilt Maker Pro 20 here. And again, it's got that higher profile, quarter of an inch profile. Uh, there's little divots in the foot so we can see the needle a little bit better. But by having that uh, higher quarter of an inch profile that we know we can use our special quarter of an inch long arm uh, quilting rulers and templates templates very safely. We don't want to use any of our eighth of an inch uh, domestic quilting rulers or our acrylic rulers that we use with our rotary cutters. We don't want to use them on our long arm quilting machines with that hopping foot. Those thinner rulers will go under the hopping foot. We need the thicker quarter of an inch rulers, again available from the so steady or so comfortable line. So now that I have my ruler foot on my machine, I'll show you the difference. These are the feet that come with all of our Janome long arm machines. There is a closed toe version and here is an open toe version. So we've got great visibility for the needle. So these are great to use, particularly this open toe foot is great for again, stitching around applique or here is the closed toe version. Now this used to be called the ruler foot but again, it's better to use that easy ruler foot with all of your rulers because of that higher profile. But these are the two feet that already come with your Janome long arm machines. I've got that easy ruler foot here on my Janome Quiltmaker Pro 20, and I've got one of our so comfortable rulers. So you can see how easy it is that I can stop with my needle in the fabric if I choose, or I can have it stop with the needle above the fabric, and then I can move my ruler in any direction I want. And because I have that ruler base underneath, we can safely uh, do all of our ruler quilting and the, the ruler is very well supported so we don't have to worry about breaking our needles and uh, harming our machines in any way. So ruler quilting is a wonderful way to get all your quilting projects done very quickly and easy on all your Janome long arm quilting machines. 
Another of my most favorite accessories is this fabulous tool tray that clips around the rollers of your long arm quilting frame. So this tool tray, there are all these adjustable compartments that you can customize so you have all of your tools needed. So things like, oh yes, we're gonna oil the hook, the bobbin area of our Janome long arm quilting machine, regardless of which one it is. And again, full instructions with each of your machines, but we'll use things like, oh, our Janome, good quality sewing machine oil, for example. Uh, so I've got it and I love using these little uh, leftover bits of t-shirts for when I make t-shirt quilts. I save all those little cutoff pieces and this is what I'm going to use to oil the machine. So extra things like, oh yes, scissors when I'm going to cut my fabric. Our Janome scissors, of course, will work better. <laughs> uh, things like, oh yes, our Madeira Arrow quilt. I've got uh, extra thread already ready to go here. Any kind of pins. Or again, we can use our smaller spools with that horizontal spool pin. Our smaller spools here of like the Madeira um, poly neon thread. Again, we've got there. We always want to have extra needles on hand. They, they all come with our long arm machines, but we can always get more from our Janome dealer. So it's always great to keep, again, all your extra supplies, all your extra bobbins here on hand right next to your project so you can get, again, all your quilting projects done faster and easier. Now, our Janome bobbin saver is fabulous as well. That not only for these are our regular Janome bobbins that we would use in the sewing machine, but even these big M class bobbins that we use with all of our Janome long arm machines, they will fit. You won't be able to get as many in the bobbin saver because, of course, they're bigger, but this rubbery, you know, grippy surface will hold your larger bobbins, the M-class bobbins for the long arm machines, as well if you have an HD9 that has the larger metal bobbins as well, they will fit in this Janome bobbin saver. So this is a great accessory to get, regardless of what Janome machine you have. Uh, or again, I love this Janome Pin Pal it is also available from Janome dealers. So these are the pins I like to use to pin my quilts uh, to the leaders. So it's great to have the magnetic pins, especially if you end up uh, you know dropping a pin on the floor use your Janome pin pal to pick it up very quickly and conveniently and if you have any on your quilting surface oh you can just run your pin pal right around and pick them up so then you don't have to worry about quilting over them so the Janome pin pal is another great accessory for your long arm quilting machine as well as all of our Janome machines so uh, readily available at your Janome dealer Another optional accessory for your long arm quilting machine, regardless of what machine you have, uh, is something you may not even consider. Uh, for example, our Aero Kangaroo uh, Dixie cutting table is a great accessory for any sewing room, but again, you can put all of your extra optional supplies, uh, certainly use it with the cutting mat that can go on top of this to square up your quilts, cut out your batting, get it ready for the long arm quilting machine. But then the wonderful thing about the Aero uh, Kangaroo Dixie cutting table, you've got all this extra storage in the center console here. So I've got batting, uh, stored in these little baskets yeah. or if you have the pro stitcher uh, premium software for example you can print out the manual put it in page protectors and in a binder all labeled and beautiful keep it handy with all of your long arm quilting machines and then if you are again fighting for space then you can easily retract the leaves, there's one on either side, so then it comes down to this uh, more manageable center console, and then you can wheel this, uh, put it up against the wall, even you could throw a tablecloth over it and uh, put a couple of accessories here. Nobody has to know that you're hiding all your long arm secrets in between. So these uh, Aero Kangaroo uh, cutting tables, again, consult your Janome dealer for more information. And thank you so much for joining me today as we talked about all of our fabulous long arm quilting accessories. Happy quilting!